Utah's latest and maybe, hopefully, last spring storm moving through the state this afternoon. Now I've done it. That's a jinx right there. Uh, the snow is slowing down, but what happens when the temperatures heat up? News specialist Shelby Lofton talked to the National Weather Service about flooding concerns. Uh, she joins us now live from their forecast center. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Dan, it stopped snowing here for now. The sun is out. We are enjoying it. And our meteorologists have forecasted that we'll hit 70 by next week. I know a lot of people are looking forward to it, but there's also a lot of concerns that come with that. With this sudden warm up, are we going to see widespread flooding? You got people going, oh, you know, the alarm bells are ringing for flooding. Warmer temperatures are welcome after months of snow. Our normal high temperature for the state is 59 degrees. But flooding concerns are on the rise as we inch towards summer. If we were warming into the 80s or into the 90s right now, that's when we get really worried. National Weather Service senior meteorologist Monica Traphagen says that's not the case. In looking at our potential for flooding for northern Utah over the weekend into early next week, um, it remains relatively low. She says forecasters hope for what's called an orderly melt of the snowpack. Start with the low elevation snowpack, and then get to the mid elevation snowpack, and then get to the high elevation snowpack. She says this upcoming warm up will melt the snow at low elevations. She doesn't expect to see widespread issues with flooding but northern Utah will see increased runoff. Those local creeks and streams are going to be running high, swift and cold. She says we may see some ponding. In areas with dense snowpack and areas that have poor drainage. The National Weather Service team in Salt Lake City says so far we're on track to gradually warm up, which is key. Have a, some, day, some days of warming, you cool down a little bit again to about normal. You come up, um, you know, and you come up a little bit more. She says spring is a time for transition, but we don't want to get too hot too quickly. And that's when things might start to get overwhelmed. And forecasters say it's uh, pretty much going to be all clear here in northern Utah, but it's really a different story down south. They're warning people with any outdoor activities planned in southern Utah this weekend to really be extra cautious, especially those in the slot canyons.